Hey, what's going on? I've seen a lot of videos online about um, changing the front door panels or doing something. Sorry, guys, I got tape on my foot. Uh, this is a 2001 F-150 Super Crew. Let me get down a little bit lower here. Uh, I had someone steal my stereo while it was at the auto repair shop. Long story. Put a new head head unit in it and the speaker is just yeah they're original factory speakers so we're going to change them but i haven't seen a lot of videos on taking the rear panels off these are super easy super quick i'm going to do this in real time i've already done the other one uh it was cake so if you have basic tools uh phillips screwdriver um an impact if you want uh some strippers it's pretty simple. I looked up the uh, the coloring codes, so I know which is the positive and negative, but these are really super easy to take off. And um, I'll go ahead and start. First, I always go from the top, pop these out. There's one. Next is uh, this guy here. It just pops right out. I give it a little snap. There's a clip on the inside in here. Pulls right out. Tuck that back down in there. Same thing with this. It just pops right out. You can get behind it with a little screwdriver. Flathead doesn't take much. There we go. Door handle cover. Now, there's a Phillips screw here. Two at the bottom. I'd move the camera, but I got it set up pretty good right now. One. Two. There's a Phillips screw right here, dead center. You can visibly see it. Now I'm going to switch this out to a quarter inch bit. And right, where did it go? Here, on the door handle itself, uh, it's not working. And actually, I'm sorry, it's not a quarter inch bit. It is a 730 seconds, or Ford's funky six and a half millimeter. Why they did that, I don't know. There's certain screws in a Ford that take a six and a half millimeter like crap in the dash why don't ask me why but that's about it straight up and it's off as far as the speakers go the factory speakers this does take a quarter inch bit normally we're doing you know, motorcycle videos or motocross, and today we're replacing speakers. This is the factory speaker. It still sounded okay, but it's a paper speaker, 4 ohm, 25 watt. What we're going back in with is the Pioneer uh, A682F. I think actually. They gave me their own speakers, but we'll figure that out once I go back and look at my uh, my invoice. Four by eights. These are uh, or six by eight speakers, four ways. Um, they're pretty nice. I looked them up, saying that this is what it needs. Now, the difference is on this speaker, it fits right in and recesses. The magnet is bigger. On this speaker and if you push them in this one actually fits okay on the passenger side or the driver's side it um, it did not so I had to use the spacer that's on the outside of it on the inside so let me look at my wiring real quick here right front or right rear Orange and red this is a positive. 
There's the orange and red. Brown and pink is negative. I'm not trying to win stereo contests here like I have in the past, but I just want some music basically for my four year old so he can. It's pretty cool. My little man likes uh, Dog Eat Dog, Ted Nugent, um, Blue Oyster Cult. I got him on some old school stuff. It's pretty cool. I'm trying to keep him away from the hip hop rap music with all the crappy words inside of it. You know what I'm saying? Oh, text message from the little woman. Anyway, doing this in real time just so there's no flubs. That and the fact that I suck at editing GoPro videos. So if you're still watching, man, thanks. Appreciate it. I've got other videos. Gates Racing 886. Uh, we do vintage motocross. My son does uh, strider racing and he's just getting into uh, the Stasic bikes. If you haven't seen those, look them up. They're freaking awesome. And he's got his, he's riding his PW. Um, and he's doing really good. Four years old. Started pretty much on two wheels at 20 months. Riding a pedal bike at just barely three years old. Never seen training wheels. So I'm pretty proud of him. I'm sorry about the lighting. Um, it's an old truck and Unfortunately, today I have a number six misfire, so I've got the truck in the garage and um, trying to get the fan cooled off on the motor so I can replace the coil pack. But if you have a Ford, you know the coil packs go out. I don't need Ford jokes. I already know them all. Anyway, I'll get down to these wires and strip them back and um, just you flip them in half. Run the factory wiring or whatever if you know. You know, black's always going to be a negative. Um, double check. What'd we say? Orange and red is positive. So that's this guy. Pull them in, squeeze it, and twist it. Tape it, and it will last forever. You can solder it in. You can crimp them in. You can do whatever you want, but. A, my son's taking a nap, so I'm limited on time. And B, you'll never tell the difference. And three, I ran out of connectors hooking up my backup camera, which is pretty cool. Got it at O'Reilly, 20 bucks. Like, 20 bucks. And it it's clear as day. Um... I'm really kind of happy with it because in Texas we don't have I mean there's some but for the most part you can tint your windows as dark as you want them and um, mine are pretty blacked out especially the back so at night that backup camera is really gonna help also if you're interested um, I hacked the uh, DVD player on my new head unit so that my son can watch it while we're driving down the road and um, he's pretty happy with that and it's pretty simple process you don't have to buy any diodes or anything you see off of eBay any funky stuff I looked it up and um, basically if you're interested I can post a video on how I did that it took me about 15 minutes so now that these are taped in, run another piece here, be good to go. I'm trying to be as quick as possible because I know everybody's got lives and things to do. So here we go. Make sure there's nothing stuck to your magnet. Fat one to the fat one, which would be positive. Skinny to the negative. Kind of hard not to mess these up. <sighs> Here we go.
actually. I am going to have to put this on the back side of it because I just want to fall off. Not a big deal. Just gives me some more room in here anyway. Flip it over. Boom. Perfect. Perfect. Any comments or suggestions, I'll take them, good or bad. It's all good. We're all YouTubers, and we just want to hang out and fix our stuff without paying somebody a bunch of money to do it. That's the name of the game, right? It's upside down. It doesn't matter, but I'm kind of picky about how I put stuff in here. done with this hands-free operation you don't have to run these in really hard either all this back together same way as you took it off going from the top you'll see your lock go on make sure you are right here it's good Hanging up on something. Perfect. Boom. Boom. Gonna throw in the seven thirty seconds first. Right here, left just to, to the front side of the door handle. Switches back on. Back in. Boom. Now it's all about the Phillips. I like using this because it's magnetic. These really don't have to be in very hard, so you will strip these plastic inserts out. <sighs> One more, two more pieces. Let's see what we got here. Let's see how long this video took me. That's it. Thanks for watching. GoPro, stop recording. <laughs>